for just one week only, the entire fashion world descends here on our nation's capital for London Fashion Week. Now, just in case you've missed it, Nessa and I are here to take a sneaky peek for you. Hello, sir. Nice to see you. Um, now, listen, I've been very much drawn to this quite spectacular dress here. Um, where did the idea come from? This was uh, actually done as an uh, antithesis to the wedding dress that I did. Mm. I've got a big, white, more traditional type wedding dress. And I wanted to do something that is for the customer that doesn't want to wear white on a wedding day. Now, you have to tell me, where do the fabrics come from? I mean, we've got a bit of glitter on here. Basically, my collection is all 100% recycled garments. Everything that I use has had a life before. Sometimes it's uh, an everyday piece that has been recontextualized and recombined with other pieces to make an evening dress or a party dress or a wedding dress. Do you find that, that nowadays more and more people are coming to you because of that whole, you know, recycling? The reason I set up my business was because so many clothes are discarded at the end of a season. They're just deemed aesthetically redundant, when in mm. fact there's many years of life left in them. Mm. People of our generation and the next generation down don't know how to repair clothing. They don't know how to alter clothing. It's a skill that's been lost. And there's so much uh, clothing in the world that just goes into landfill that doesn't get recycled that I felt it was partly my role to do what I could to, to help that. Wow, look at these. <laughs> Thank you. Do you make these? Yes, I make them all. I design Ooh, and make them. They're gorgeous. Tell us about them. These are great. These are little pins. You can wear them in the side of your hair, or you can wear them in the back of a French pleat. So they're really nice for bridesmaids, or even brides that don't want to wear a whole tiara. This is one of my favourites, actually. It's a little tiara, and it's based on um, the Holly Go Lightly tiara from Breakfast at Tiffany's. It's really pretty because it's got the um, AB-coated crystals, so they're really sparkly. And then we've got the bigger feather pieces Ooh, here as well. That's incredible. It's gorgeous because it's got the diamante along the spine of the feather, so oh, the diamante yeah. just drips down. Ooh, it's dressing up time. <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> Look at this. This one's so much fun. So where, where do you get inspiration from to create something like this? This collection was based on showgirls. And actually, I designed this collection at the time the Kylie exhibition was on. I went to see it, and I really loved the showgirl tour. Um, and it all just tied in that Vogue needed some things at the same time, so I got the feathers, got the crystals and started to play. Hello there. Hi there. Fabulous jewellery, absolutely beautiful. Is this all your work? It is, yes. Yes, I'm the designer and um, this is my brand, DC Bijou. Um, all the gold and the gemstones and the diamonds that I use come from socially and environmentally responsible mining programmes. So everything has a fair trade provenance and is environmentally sound. OK, so can we have a look at some of the pieces? Oh, absolutely, of course. This uh, ring here has a rough diamond and a little faceted diamond around the side and this piece all moves. The diamonds all come from specific mining programmes which I work with and also the cutting and the polishing of the stones takes place in a fair trade workshop which is a cooperative. So um, where do you get the, um, the inspiration from to design the pieces? When I work with clients, I work to their specifications. So we work to see actually, find out a bit more about them and uh, see how they would like their engagement ring to look and what would suit them as a, you know, obviously as an item. Wow, what a fantastic collection of jewellery. Now, when we think about weddings, it's very difficult, isn't it, for brides to decide on what they are or are not going to wear or what they're going to have. Where do they start? Right, well, we've been making recently, and it's probably because of the age I am, all of my friends are just at that phase where they're getting married or having babies mm -hmm. or something. So we've made lots of kind of rock and roll wedding rings, something that's really different. Currently, Claudia Schiffer loves our jewellery, so whenever she's in London, her London stylist calls me up and she'll come and have a look at what we've got. Um, also, Kara Knightley wears it, uh, Sienna Miller, quite a few people. They generally just find it from the shops that we stop. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Nessa, after our whirlwind tour of Fashion Week, I think we deserve a nice chilled, sparkling glass of champagne. Oh, cheers.